And Dave and Glenda, a pretty extraordinary story out here. This woman was able to fight off her attacker. Police still here on the scene. We're on Anita at Bertram in Westland, and you're looking live at the spot where this happened. Let's go to some video of the scene. This just unfolding in the last couple of hours. Apparently, this woman was home. She's described as elderly by police. She heard a soft knock at her door. When, when this uh, woman went to answer the door, the guy was standing there. He was wearing a mask. He forced his way inside the home. They struggled. She somehow fought him off. I'm told she's only about 5'1", retired school teacher, somehow forced her way out of the house, ran to a neighbor's to get help. Take a listen to what he had to say. She came into our house and we called 911. She had a bunch of blood down her back and on her hoodie and what have you. And what was, I mean, she must have been absolutely terrified. Yeah, she was. And we, so we just called 911. I came running outside to see if I could see anybody leaving. Anyone and was did you see anything? Anybody running nope. out? No. Nope. Did he have a weapon? Did she say or? Uh, yeah, she, he uh, told her that he had a gun. And back out here live, obviously very frightening situation. And get this, the woman also apparently is fighting cancer. So she's short, she's elderly, and she has cancer. And she's able to get this guy out of her house. That's her house you're still looking at there. As uh, evidence techs are trying to get fingerprints, anything they possibly can that may lead them to this guy. He did run off because he was wearing a mask. Really no description at this point. Reporting live in Westland, I'm Tom Waits, 7 Action News.